Hey everybody. So I'm outside. I just got done mowing the yard. I'm about to start trying to be a little bit more of a green thumb. We have an ugly patch of our yard. So I'm trying to uh, add some hostas and add some color next, next spring. But this is a quick intro. So yesterday's video was me just kind of going on a whim. Uh, just on the, in the car, which you'll see, um, talking about tantrums and meltdowns and kind of the differences. And, and I didn't take the time in the sense of like making bullet points and, and exact uh, points I wanted to make. So if you are an experienced parent with your child, then the video is probably not for you. But if you are um, a newer parent, maybe less experienced and your child still in the younger ages, uh, then hopefully it can help you out in some way, shape or form. Uh, it was just something on my mind and I just kind of spit it out on camera while I was making a long drive yesterday. So you'll see that video. And the second video actually is funny because I have a puffy eye, guys. Looks like I have a puffy eye. Um, but the second video actually is today with Jay having a tantrum that led to a meltdown. So it was actually really good timing as far as the video goes. And what I was talking about. So I combined the two. This is the intro. Um, and that's it. I don't want to keep you any longer. Have a great day. And I hope you guys get something from the video. All right. Till next time. Hey, everyone. I am on the road to a birthday party. And Madi and Sebastian... Or in another car because then we have to go separate ways to she has to get jay and get this new cool swing and you're probably like what's he doing making a video driving down the road but don't worry because i'm not going to look at the camera so i'm going to be trying to quick about today's video but it's been on my mind because we've been experiencing some serious meltdowns with Jaden, and i've got comments and questions and people have been so supportive on the previous videos but it got me thinking about other things and i just wanted to go over a real big topic with our kids that are on the spectrum and our kids that are not on the spectrum. And that is the difference between a tantrum and a meltdown. Um, and it, I'll, again, I'll try to be quick so I don't bore you. A tantrum with a typical kid is something much more so that they know what they're doing and have control, but they're not getting in their way. And they're mad and they melt, and they, you know, they get mad. I want, I, I want candy X or I want toy Z, right? So they don't get their way and they fall on the floor and they know they're just unhappy. So they're going to, you know, kind of manipulate you in their own way and have a melt or have a tantrum. But at the end of the day, for example, when Sebastian has a tantrum and he does it, ah, ah, and I'm like, what's he doing, babe? Why is he making that face? Right? We send him to his room. He calms down. He comes downstairs and he apologizes and he says, I'm sorry. And right there shows you that once he gets out of that frame of mind, you know, he kind of knew what he was doing was wrong, but he just was mad he didn't get his way. And then he apologizes and all is forgiven. But with a meltdown, and a, especially a severe meltdown, guys, uh, and this, this, this pertains to lower functioning, moderate functioning, high functioning, severe meltdowns can happen to all three. Uh, my son, Jaden, a lot of you guys know he's 11 and he's with severe autism and he's not verbal. So when he melts down and goes into Hulk mode, there is not much you can do. There's pretty much nothing you can do reinforcement wise, uh, redirect wise. You can try all that stuff and we have tried that stuff. But in the heat of the moment, he's gone. And you can see it in his face that he goes to another place and he cannot control his actions uh, or his behaviors. He's lost. And we see that, and it might not be the case for your child, but we can see Jaden goes to a whole nother world. And that's why I call it Hulk mode because now he's so big. He swings on people. He'll hit you. He'll bite you if, if you're, you know, trying to get in his way. Um, so what we do for, this is for parents. I know parents who have been around the block and your kids are older, this video probably might not 
pertain to you, and I should have said that at the beginning, but for parents who have kids that are three, four, and five and are still trying to figure it out, jump through the hoops on what works and doesn't work for your child, um, I recommend to try different strategies, and then if it doesn't work, throw it out. We tried a lot of those. So what we do now at home, Jaden's older, so we have two things. For a not-so-severe meltdown, I don't get... I don't get popcorn, so he cries and melts down and hits himself. We have a timeout pad, and we're like, sit there. Sit there for 11 minutes, because you're 11. And you can't move until you're done crying. And that actually does work. But then, when the severe meltdowns come at dinner or wherever in the house, go up to your room. And what we've done over the years, instead of mom trying to fix it and, and having that female motherly intuition of ah, I need to fix this I need to help my baby we've understood that we can't do that and you can't fix it it's just that they are who they are their brain is wired how they are wired and we have now made a setup where we've taken all the breakables out of his room and there's not that many left because he's broke most of them <laughs> and we learned from experience that if you send him up there and leave him alone, he will throw, kick, break all his toys. So we've almost kind of made it, not a padded room, but we've made it just all soft stuff. Where his bed's there, and he's got soft pillows, and there's not things he can break and destroy. Whoops, I might have got off. No, sorry. So we've made it where... Um, he goes upstairs and he can just be there in his room and whether it's 30 minutes or an hour later he will come down and he'll be fine and parents I guess my suggestion is you just have to learn your child and you have to kind of give them a little bit of a leash because you can't fix all the problems and you can't always fix a meltdown a meltdown especially a severe meltdown is something that sometimes you just have to let it go and let it take its course. Um, don't worry about other parents judging you. Don't worry about other parents trying to give you advice. You know your kid better than anyone else. Um, so focus on that and try not to drive yourself crazy. Because it will ripple through your household. It will ripple into your spouse. It will ripple. The anxiety will ripple into your kids. And that's one thing we've really focused on and learned over the years is, all right, you're going to act like that? Go to your room. Because it's not worth all the stress of trying. Because you can't fix meltdowns. You can try. But severe meltdowns just don't work. And they don't work for us, maybe. And maybe they work for you. So that is my suggestion here. Um, my two cents. Figure out what works for your kids. And um, do the best you can setting up a good situation in the house. And if it happens in public... My recommendation is to get them out of the house or get them out of that public area, get them back in the car, get them away from other people so they're not around, you know, others to possibly hurt them, hit them in public, you know, things like that. But I'm getting to my birthday party, so I'm going to end this video. And if I can find it, I'm going to try to add one of Jaden's severe meltdowns to the end of this video and it's pretty intense and it's hard to watch but it's something I think that is a reality and parents need to see to be because if, if you can pull anything from it you're like oh yeah I'm not alone my kid does that too maybe not severe but I just want to share our story and this is what this whole YouTube channel is about and not hide thing and be transparent so if I can find a video I'll put it out there thank you for listening um, if you're first time here uh, my name is Kevin I'm Autism Dad Dad thank you for watching please subscribe if you can on our journey it'd be great to have you follow along uh, hit a like button that'd be great likes are great and hit the bell for notifications alright guys birthday party time Thank you for listening for my little rant and babble. Talk to you soon. So I guess I missed the majority of it. I missed the climax of the meltdown. But again, it was just over something very, very small. 
or Madi just said, I need you to say, I want, and he wouldn't say it. And then he just blew up and got right in her face and started hugging her and grabbing her. And he's never done that again before. So it's gotta be puberty. Okay guys, thank you for bearing with that. Um, but I just wanted to show you since I was just talking about meltdowns and tantrums. So this one actually seemed like a tantrum to start, by the way. My wife said it seemed like a tantrum. He just wasn't getting his way. And he just wouldn't say, I want. He just wouldn't say it. So a tantrum turned into a meltdown. So again, it's kind of confusing the difference between the two. But that was, that was one of the few times my wife actually said it started as a tantrum. Like he was being a little teenager. Which is kind of cool. But then the meltdown takes over. And then the destroyed room. <laughs> okay. This is our life, guys, right? This is how we do it. We grind and we get through it. And tomorrow's a new day. But it's been a great day. Jay's been awesome for the most part. It happens. We love him. All right, guys. Okay, so I'm just checking back in. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. He seems to be doing a little better. Wipe in your nose. Are you okay? Okay. Hey, I love you. Be uh uh. Can you say I love you, Dada? Oh, that's gross, you guys. He blew snot. Oh, hey, I'll get, it, I'll get. It. Don't touch. It. I'll get it. Ooh, he got uh -uh. snot all over everything. Uh uh. I'll clean it up. Dad, Dad will get it. Uh uh. He, uh uh. No, 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 not the pillow, not the pillow, not the pillow. No. <laughs> okay, don't move. I'll get it. He, uh uh. Pillow. I'll clean he, it. Uh uh. Pillow. Up. No, don't clean it up with the pillow. Dad, Dad will clean it up with tissue. Hold on, don't move, don't move. All right, so as you guys can see, what he'll do a lot, and I know I'm taking bad camera angle right now, but he'll dry heave a lot. I don't know if your kids do this at all. He'll dry heave. He'll do that and like let his, his spit drain, or he'll just spit and blow, blow out his nose. So that's what it looks like he blew out his nose this time. So he must have done that while he was still kind of mad and melting down. All right. Babe. Why can't I even open the door? Babe. Oh, he blew. So this was in the way of the door. Daddy. Okay, let me see your leg. Open leg. Oh, of course. You're playing with my hair when your hands are all nasty. Okay, clean up. 